Title, Not Just Sushi and Samurais, Japan Rocked by Stabbing and Shooting Spree. TLDR. In an unexpected twist of events in usually peaceful Japan, three people, including two police officers, became victims of a rare mass stabbing and shooting attack. A mystery man, donned in full camo attire, left a trail of fear and confusion in central Japan, forcing the locals to lock their doors and sparking an intense police investigation. Let's dive in. Late in the afternoon, a call pierced through the calm in Nakano City's police station. A woman had been stabbed. The officers, likely expecting a routine distress call, rushed to the scene, but little did they know, this was no ordinary day in the neighborhood. They were met with something straight out of a Hollywood action film, gunshots. The attacker, brandishing something that looked eerily like a hunting rifle, fired at the unsuspecting officers and onlookers before disappearing into a nearby building. Remember the game of hide and seek you used to play as a kid? Well, this was the adult, more terrifying version of that game. The whole city was on edge, wondering where this camouflaged mystery man was hiding. The woman, in her forties, was taken to hospital, but unfortunately didn't make it. The two officers, brave men aged 46 and 61, also paid the ultimate price in the line of duty. We do have a survivor though, another person who was injured but lived to tell the tale. Meanwhile, the suspect was cozying up in his newfound sanctuary, barricaded in a building somewhere in Nakano City. The local police had their work cut out for them, they needed to find him, and fast. So, they set up an evacuation zone with a radius of 300 meters around the scene. But, would this be enough to catch the camouflaged predator? Gun violence in Japan is rarer than a rainbow unicorn, thanks to the nation's strict gun laws. So, how did we end up here? It's a question that's got not just Japan, but the whole world scratching their heads, especially since the assassination of the country's longest-serving prime minister, Shinzo Abe, last year. Shinzo Abe was shot dead during a campaign speech in Nara in July, by a homemade weapon, no less. This incident had already shaken Japan to its core, raising questions about the country's security measures. Were they enough? Was Japan as safe as everyone believed it to be? Despite the shock, statistics tell us that Japan isn't turning into a Wild West show. In 2022, only nine incidents involving firearms were reported, one less than the previous year, and of these, six are believed to have been committed by gangs. Yet, this latest incident raises eyebrows and, more importantly, questions. Is Japan's peaceful facade beginning to crack? So, let's hit you with the big question. Are we witnessing the dawn of a new era in Japan, an era defined not by peace and tranquility but by fear and violence? And if so, what's triggering this shift? Disclaimer, this article does not provide security or law enforcement advice. It is meant solely for informational purposes. The content within this article does not represent the views or opinions of Turned Up News.